Hey guys, Krista Jones here from Davy and Krista, where we help businesses build brands that butt. Today we're going to teach you how to create beautiful Pinterest graphics using Photoshop. But before we begin, hit like on this video and subscribe to this channel to make sure that you get all of our future video updates. So one of the best ways to help send traffic back to your website through Pinterest and encourage visitors to your website to share that content is by to add shareable graphics at the bottom of your blog post. When it comes to making these graphics, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, make sure that you include the title of your blog post. Ideally, it's a catchy title so that people are scrolling through Pinterest and when they see your image with the title pop up, it encourages them to click on the post and hop over to your blog post. Pinterest pins that are sized with a two to three ratio, so think like vertically, are gonna do better than say square images or horizontal images. So when you're adding these images to your blog post, make sure that they're vertical. And whenever possible, try to come up with video pins as well. While you won't be able to add these to your blog post, most likely, they are great for sharing your own content on Pinterest. And Pinterest is highly encouraging users today to share video pins. So let's dive into Photoshop. I am going to open up a file. We're going to make this a thousand pixels wide by 1500 pixels tall and then I'm gonna hit create next I'm gonna bring in an image okay so I've opened up this image that is a stock photo from social squares and I'm gonna come up to layer and duplicate layer and then I'm going to duplicate it to my other document so just hit ok and now it's on this other document from here I'm going to hit command T to size it down and I'm gonna fit it within the bounds of this document so more like this next I'm gonna add a white shape and there are a lot of different ways to format your design I'm just gonna show you one of the simplest ways which is probably to add a image and then add a white rectangle above it and then add your text so from here I'm gonna draw a white rectangle and then I'm gonna move it to the center so I'm gonna center it vertically and horizontally actually this is black I'm gonna make it white so I'll make it white up here under appearance and I'm gonna get rid of the border around it although you could also add a border let's see we could do a border that's maybe like a different color blue something like that and hit ok and that might make it stand out even more and then I'm gonna come over here to my type tool and I'm gonna just draw a box and then from here I'm gonna type in my blog post here is one bit of text and then I am going to Come down here and drag this layer over to this plus sign to duplicate it and then i'm gonna hit command t again to edit it so show it line tool and then i'm gonna make this a different font so i'm gonna make this dolores because that's one of our brand fonts and i'm gonna command t and make it really big and then we could add another little blurb that kind of explains what the post is about and i'm going to switch this to a different font because that's a lot of text so it's easier to read and then we have some funky letter spacing going on which is kind of hard to read with this style of font so i'm going to make that box smaller and then i'm going to reduce the size of the whole thing i might actually add a line to break it up. I think I might actually grab the whole thing again. All three text boxes and the line. I'm going to hit command T and I'm going to drag them up by the corner to make them bigger and then make sure that it's all vertically aligned. And then from here all we need to do is go to file and export and save for web and I'm going to set it to be a JPEG. 470 kilobytes is pretty large so I'm going to bring it down a bit because this is going on my website so I don't want it to be too big. I want it to be big enough that the text is easy to read, but not big enough that it really slows down my site. Okay, so from here I will hit save. I'm going to give it a keyword friendly name, save it, and then I can add it to my blog post. So that is all it takes to create a Pinterest graphic using Photoshop. If you have any questions, make sure that you drop them in the comments below and make sure that you hit like on this video and subscribe to our channel to get updates about other tutorials we release. Thanks guys.